And the next one we're going to look at, this could be a little bit contentious, I think, is a film out uh, at the moment from Richard Curtis called Genie. And in Genie a fa- is a fairy tale comedy written by Richard Curtis, although Andy Sorry, Lee was with comedy. that a few points. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what it says here. And in Genie, a workaholic man enlists the help of a genie to win his family back for Christmas. Here's a clip. Okay, how about this? Um, I, I wish Bring it. that my phone wasn't dead. And, and, oh, I know, how about a camel? I wish I had my very own camel. Huh? That seems reasonable, right? Sure thing, boss. It's whatever floats your boat. Okay, uh, I mean, that's a coincidence. Is that a coincidence? Okay. Let me read first, to balance what you're going to say, Andy, that um, Emma said that Melissa McCarthy's humour can be hit or miss. So true. (laughs) Uh, but I enjoy Flora, our genie from a bygone age. It's trying to do a Dickens light, but overall it was an amusing movie about friendship and family, and it passed the time quite pleasantly. Andy, did you see a different film? I'm currently reading, as I do every year, A Christmas Carol. This is about as far removed from Dickens as the sun is from the black hole out in outer space. This is absolute nonsense. Melissa McCarthy is not funny. It is not funny. It is, it is pathetic. How many wishes does one guy get from one genie for the course of the film? I only had one wish watching this. I could get the hour and a half back that I wasted watching this sick, violent, vomit-inducing posh that made me feel about as seasonal as if I had months on Christmas Day. It is absolute pathetic. Rubbish and Richard Curtis should stick to writing English characters in English situations. Forget about going to America. Melissa McCarthy, does this, did you see the special effects? Did you see them sitting on that mat against that green screen with the magic flying carpet? It is tossed from start to finish. It is absolute rubbish and it's not even sweet. It's not even it's candy cane sweet. It is candy cane nauseating. I got. Happy Christmas. So you didn't like it? No. <laughs> it's not quite as bad as my big fat Greek wedding by the Vomit 3, but man, it runs it close. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Is this actually showing in cinemas or is it streaming? I hope to God not. Please, it's Father. On Sky. Sky and no. Oh, Sky. Oh, it's on Sky, is it? It's oh, right. Sky. Okay. Okay. Um, there is not <laughs> one single redeeming feature about this film, oh. in my mind. Even when she starts talking about, oh, it's Christmas, it's Jesus' birthday, I knew him. What? <laughs> the, whole, the good enthusiasts would have nothing to do with opening a restaurant where we turn water into wine. I, I found it offensive. I found it non Christmasy. I found it sickening. I found it badly acted. I found it badly scripted. It was an absolute pile of dog turd. Well, okay. And I can ask you for a score because um, no. Emma has given it an eight out of ten. <laughs> I am going to have to get down on my knees and talk to the boss about Emma's cinematic soul. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't bring myself to give this a point. It's Seriously. a zero out of ten. Is yeah. that what you gave a big fat drink of God of yogurt? Uh, it's ten. <laughs> but uh, I, I can't. Okay. I can't bring well, um, a, one good little tiny solitary thing about it. Rubbish. Wow. Well, absolutely. Well, it's rubbish. That's an that's, that's an eight and a zero. So that's a flickering dream score four point zero for Richard Curtis's <laughs> genie, which makes it a. Oh God. <laughs> A, a solid gold turn, I guess, of a miss. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. oh dear.